Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, you clicked on this video because you're really curious about birth control, NuvaRing, we're just gonna sit down and do a quick video because I feel like it's really important for me to number one, document my journey and I think that birth control and hormones tie into your health and I know that it does but I feel like a lot of people don't want to talk about it, which is why I'm making a specific video on this, kind of telling you guys a few different reasons, like why I'm on it, what made me decide to choose NuvaRing, and my current experience so far, as bluntly, honestly as possible, and kind of like an announcement, I guess. So basically we're gonna start, we're gonna get comfy because I don't know how long I'm gonna be talking, but basically, I had been thinking about going on birth control for the past like eight months and for the first two months of that I was like ah oh, like I don't really need it because like I just I really had a bad experience when I was on the pill so a little bit of a background um <laughs> also if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and you guys like content like this there's gonna be updates and random stuff but make sure to subscribe follow me on my Instagram and give this video a like comment down below give me your feedback Tell me, are you on birth control? What are your thoughts of birth control? Um, I know it's a pretty controversial topic, but I'm gonna be open and blunt and honest with you guys about it. So, okay, so this is gonna be unedited also, but I wanna explain a few things. Um, the first two months of that eight months of like before I went on birth control, I was like, okay, I wanna go on it, but I really don't feel like I wanna go through everything I had to deal with when I originally was on the pill. When I was on the pill, you guys, I literally gained so much weight. The first month, I gained five pounds, and I was eating very well at that point in my life, and I couldn't blame it on anything else besides my hormones, because I was eating in a caloric deficit, or at least maintenance, like I was not overeating, and normally my body was fine, I hadn't gained weight in like four or five months, and my boobs got so much bigger when I was on this birth control, this pill. And I can't remember the exact name, but um, I did end up going on that when I was 16. Uh-huh, yeah. It was like I was 16 to 17, I was on this pill. And then I am 18 currently, not on any, uh, well now I'm on birth control, but it, I was off of it for a, more than a year. But I started when I was 16, rolled into like 17, and then I got off of it. Or maybe I, right before I turned 17, I got off of it. No, I don't know, probably like around my birthday I think I got off of the pill. I gained so much weight though and then um, I hit my breaking point when I was looking in the mirror and I realized like, yeah, it's cool to have boobs, like it's nice to have boobs, like they were bigger and more full and just, I liked it. But the rest of my body had really changed and I really didn't like it because, you know, the reason I went on birth control wasn't because I had really bad acne. Like, I have some acne, but it wasn't the reason. I didn't have crazy bad cramps. Um, my cycle was always kind of, like, screwed up, <laughs> like, irregular and stuff. Um, and then I realized it wasn't really irregular. After I got off the pill, and it had become monthly being on the pill, I was like, okay, um, is it going to stay monthly? Is it going to go back to being irregular? And I realized the pattern that it created throughout that year was every two months I would get my period. So rather than getting it 12 times, I actually got it six. And I realized that when I started tracking it. But I think that's how my period was before that as well. I just didn't realize it because I wasn't tracking it. Um, I went on the pill though originally because, you know, I was sexually active. I was still using condom, but I really didn't want a child, especially in high school. <laughs> I was like not down for that. My parents were not super supportive of that. Um, my mom, I never even told that I was on birth control because, you know, I really didn't want to get kicked out of the house. I didn't want her to like know what I was, not know what I was doing. I just, we don't talk. My mom and I don't talk about those things. So telling her I'm on birth control, she would definitely assume things and it would probably have screwed up our relationship. So I kept that a secret from her. My dad eventually I told, but I went to Planned Parenthood and I, made an appointment um, and then I had an appointment with this doctor it was literally 20 minutes and it was like a really good experience so if you guys want to know the whole like Planned Parenthood what happens behind closed doors um, all of that because I feel like it's really important for people to know like what experiences as a teenager going there but anyways went there got birth control um, filled it myself paid for it myself and didn't really 
I didn't feel like it was helping my body because <laughs> my my like cycle was regular the flow wasn't bad at all I just gained a lot of weight and I was getting kind of moody and irritable but then I was like I really don't like the way that I feel about my body so I'm just gonna go off of it went off of it the weight didn't really like go away um, it's pretty much been on me since then because I just haven't really been as motivated to get it off and then a year passes and um, during that year the first two months so going back to that I was like okay I want to go on but I didn't really want to go on because I was thought I was gonna have to go back on the pill so then, during that two months I kind of looked up a couple other options that I had for birth control and the first option was Okay, so the first options, the ones that I looked at, I'm gonna tell you my reasoning of why I personally didn't do it. I'm super busy, so being consistent with the pill now, it's really hard for me to be like on point with it anyway and not forget because I'm always moving and traveling and just, it's not like a thing that fits my lifestyle. So I gained weight and then taking it daily just was gonna be harder for me. So I was like, okay, pills out. Then there's the implant, the patch, the ring, and the IUD. And I think there's some other options, but those are the four other ones that I looked into and I realized really quickly I don't want an IUD in me because I've had two friends who have personally had like the IUD go way up higher and like they had to get it surgically removed. So those friends were like, hey, don't do it. I had a friend who had the implant. She's a cheerleader and whatever it is that's in there, it bruises for the first two days. And I spoke to my gynecologist about this. It bruises for the first two days. By the way, that was the first time I went to the gynecologist. But it bruises for the first two days. After that, it shouldn't be bruised. But because she was a cheerleader and a girl fell on her, it like shattered or something inside of her. And they had to go get it removed. And this is a girl that I knew. So I was just like, okay, the implant isn't for me either because I am active. Even though girls aren't like falling on me. I still work out at the gym. Um, I do play badminton sometimes and like I'm pretty clumsy. So I was like, okay, I really don't want to do the implant and I really don't want something in my arm because I just don't want something in my arm. Then the other option was the patch and the ring. And I was like, okay, what's the pros and cons? I was talking to my gynecologist about this and she was like, well, there's two differences. The ring is up inside of you. If you can, you know, use your fingers or use the applicator to get it up there and pull it out when you're done then you don't have to deal with it that often it's every three weeks you have to deal with it one week out and put it back in and then the other one which is the patch you put on like somewhere she said a lot of people put it on the side of their hip and it just leaves a residue you switch out every week and i mean that didn't seem bad either but after a while of like talking to her about it and thinking about it like in the appointment after researching as well, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do the ring. So right now the ring is inside of me, but I will insert photos of what the Nuva ring looks like, how to insert it, and I hope I, I'm probably still not gonna be monetized, honestly, but I decided on doing that. And in the like appointment, she was like, all right, I'm gonna leave the room and you see if you can put it in yourself and take it out yourself. And I did it and I was like, okay, cool, I can do it. And then she was like, all right, um, there's two ways you can do it. You can either put it in, today um or wait until your next period put it in the first day of your period and then take it out three weeks after or you can just wait till the sunday after your period so she told me that it's way better if you're in a relationship to do it the sunday after your period because i don't know if you guys know this but i am in a relationship so i was like kind of doing that because i really don't want a kid in college either <laughs> And I mean, we are very responsible when it comes to those things, but at the same time, like I just wanted the extra protection because you can't double up a condom, you can't do any of that. So I decided I was like, okay, I need to get on birth control. But I was really scared because the pill had made me gain so much weight. And now I'm in my first month of the Nuvering. But basically she told me those two options to put it in. And I decided the Sundays because uh, my boyfriend does live out of town. He's usually here on the weekends and then he's also here other times you get your period on the weekday then rather than the weekend so you don't have to worry about it on the weekend i really don't care when i get my period but it honestly made sense because sunday is like a beginning of a new week and it would be a lot easier to remember they have an app and i you know decided okay day after my period or yeah the, the sunday after my period i put it in and it's been in for about two weeks now and i'm gonna be honest with you guys like it hasn't been bad 
and I don't really have much more to say about it being in besides one more gory detail but it's not really gory but you know it's kind of TMI for those of you who are wondering when you are sexually active and you have the ring in I know you guys this is TMI but this is all like questions that I'll probably get um, but when you are sexually active, they really can't feel it unless it like comes out when they're done. And so like I had that happen one time where the ring came out and the ring isn't like supposed to like be a blocker or anything like that. It's just like a hormone that it releases. So like if it comes out, she said, or if it falls out, then you just pull it out, wash it off and put it right back in. So when it came out, I just pulled it out, washed it off, put it right back in. Um... And yeah, but like he said that he couldn't feel it and so like if anyone's wondering you really can't feel it um, During intercourse though. I do feel like it stimulates your Encounter <laughs> well, I don't know how to say it without getting like demonetized on YouTube, but like it I felt like I had to I could maybe feel it, but it felt good like it didn't feel bad So like don't worry about the pain or anything like that. Like if anything it stimulates it more so <laughs> Yeah, with that being said though, that's kind of like my whole experience so far with it. I haven't really noticed a lot of weight gain, but then again, it's only been the first two weeks, so you don't really know how that's going to be. Um, I haven't started trying to lose weight really because, you guys, college is stressful. When you're stressing, you're not sleeping, you're eating kind of crappy. It's like, you know, it's one of those things where I'm just maintaining my weight right now. But I will do another update video, and if you guys have specific questions, leave them down below, and I'll do a whole Q&A for it. Um, but I will do an update video on my experience and my recommendations to people who are trying to, like, use the product, or if you are, you know, you have questions. I'm going to definitely do a Q&A. Leave them down below. And I really hope this helps you guys out, because at the end of the day, like, I'm making this video because I want to help you guys out. I want to share my journey um, for those of you that are in high school, college, before that, after that, whatever, and you're looking at birth control options, just know that there's always an option out there for you, and even if the option is abstinence, that's totally fine, but seriously, there's an option out there. You can always prevent pregnancy, and um, safe sex is always the best sex, but with that being said, I just wanted to throw this out here on the YouTube, and I wanted you guys to know my personal experience kind of so far. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. I know that I'm more chill right now, but like it's kind of it's early in the morning. I'm trying to just relax. But with that being said, I'm going to do an update video, Q&A video, and uh, maybe a whole Planned Parenthood story time if you guys want to see it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and comment all your stuff if you have questions, if you guys have uh, video ideas, anything like that. I'd love to know. But with that being said, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, babes.